Uh, hello and welcome to another video. My name is Haraldus and today I will explain what is model context protocol and show you how to build MCP servers and clients in C Sharp using the official SDK. Model context protocol is an open standard developed by Anthropic to standardize the integration of large language models with external tools, data sources, and applications. In one of my previous videos, I showed you how to make LLMs useful by calling a function based on the LLM output, and I've created this manually. But now, there is a standardized way to connect your LLMs to a data source, application, or a tool. MCP operates on a modular client-server architecture, which is made up of three parts. Host process is the AI assistant or chatbot initiating the connection. In this case, it's the GitHub Copilot in VS Code. MCP clients are the intermediaries spawned by the host to handle specific tasks, and, and MCP servers can be internal or external systems exposing data and tools to the LLM through a standardized schema. Now that you know the basics, you can get started by creating a new console app, then change directory into the projects folder, then add the model context protocol pre-release NuGet package, then add the Microsoft extensions hosting NuGet package and now we can open the project in VS Code. As you can see I am using .NET 9 and those two are the only packages that are installed. Go back to your program.cs, remove everything and add the following four usings. Using Microsoft extensions dependency injection, using Microsoft extensions hosting, using model context protocol server and using system .component model. Create a new empty application builder passing null for settings. Once you have the builder, then you will need to configure the services. First, call add MCP server, then with standard IO server transport, and lastly, with tools from assembly. And this is very important and as it will allow us to create tools that the LLM can recognize and run. And finally, add this line to build and run this. And that's it. Now that the server is complete, let's write a class that exposes some tool to the LLM. Make sure you add the MCP server tool type attribute at the top of the class. One basic example of a tool that we could expose is a reverse string function. Make sure to use MCP server tool attribute above the function and give it a description. The LLM uses that description to understand what your function does. Obviously, the reverse string example is very basic. Add the function that allows to synthesize text to speech. This first function used a package that only works on Windows. So then I created another function that synthesizes text to speech and works on macOS. Once you got the functions that you want to expose ready, you will need to configure the project. To configure the project to have MCP server support, create new .vs code folder and and add an mcp.json file. Press add server, choose command standard IO, then type .NET run dash dash project and your project path. Then build your project. Finally, you can open GitHub Copilot and you should be able to see the MCP server. If it doesn't show us running, just run it using .NET run. Also make sure that GitHub Copilot is running in agent mode. To test if the LLM has access to the actions on the MCP server, ask it to list all the actions. Then you can try calling those actions through the LLM. Hello world. I'm leaving the link to the c -sharp MCP SDK in the description, as well as the GitHub link to the full source code for this demo if you want to have a look. Like and subscribe if you like the video. Thanks for watching and see you again in the next one.